plus one because his cock's still out. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't actually matter which one I do. Um, oh, it does matter. He didn't take which rock out do. with your cock out, so he doesn't get in the bonus. I am going. Yeah, let's go to. I'm, this actually sounds like I'm trying to manipulate him. Okay, let's do it. You oh told him God. that you want him to not. <laughs> nice. Wow. Nice fucking hot rolls, fuck, dude. <laughs> That's fucking hot rolls. Uh, All right. The good rolls. You got a ten plus. <clears throat> yep. On a hit, they ask you to promise something first, and they do okay. it if you promise. I promise my piss is healthy for you. <laughs> no, just, you uh, you you've promised him that you're yeah. Well, that <laughs> not exactly in the way you phrased it, but yes, in the short short phrase, you do say that, and he's just like, okay, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about it like that. And then he unzips and starts pissing right in front of you as well. He's like, oh, oh, my prostate. Oh, God. Tell me someone else is walking by right now. <laughs> so he gestures like with the hand with the wrench while he's holding it with the other one. He's like, you going to fix this damn thing? It's what I'm here to do. Well, go ahead and do it, man. And like he swivels his turn toward you while he's talking and there's yep. just a stream of piss following that <laughs> swivel yep yeah so okay. what do you do i i go i walk the long way around him uh to avoid the current and uh i make my way towards the uh the pylon okay yeah you make it to the pylon okay um i'm going to examine the pylon to figure out what it is that I need to do to repair this, I assume this is something to do with my workspace role, but I don't know. Uh, it sounds like it's things speak, actually, if you took that. Um, I did take things speak. Well, it sounds like you're handling or examining something interesting. Uh, yes, yes, it does. Well, let's I, do it. Uh, I really wish I could put these buttons to roll on. Uh, you can. I, I, oh, do I, did I not enable macros? Oh no! You just have to keep that page up. I see. What you're oh, doing. I have to keep the page up. <laughs> okay. You can uh -huh. turn the page into like a little web thing and like put it Pop somewhere out. in your monitor. Yeah. Yeah. Put it on your second I'll, monitor. I'll, yeah. Unless second, you're a plea. Yeah, what was this guy's name again? Oh, Visage. Right. His name is Visage. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go up and uh, start poking it with a wrench, like literally just like prodding it, and I open my brain. And yeah, I get to ask three questions. Ask away. Uh, so what's wrong with this, and how might I fix it? Um, a part has been removed from it, the hypercapacitor regulation system. And fixing it would require you to either make a new one or to find the one that was taken. OK. Um, huh. Who handled this last before me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Before I answer this, I want to ask you: How are you getting this information from the object? In what way is it presenting itself? Uh. So. That's actually so. This is like a plus weird, and I assume this is related to the psychic maelstrom, but it doesn't explicitly say. So, I don't know. I, I feel like this is kind of up to you to decide. Yeah, you tell me. It's literally you tell me, man. It's a narrative huh. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like the parts narration. Been removed. Uh, I go up to the part, uh, that, that, the, wherever it was originally, yeah. and I sniff. <laughs> Take a big lick of it, um, get a good taste. So you use, like, your physical senses to get your brain attunement in there. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. So in your mind's eye, you see uh, a man. He is, like, deeply pale, just ridiculously pale, especially in the heat of the sun. Yep. And the, the ozone layer in Australia, he's just so fucking pale. Uh, and he's wearing a necklace of thousands upon thousands of shark teeth in like a rose and you know that his name is hammerhead and he's the leader of the great white gang 
he's the last person to have handled this. Okay. And... I assume I, oh, I, I can guess pretty well what has been done most recently with this. Um, what words have been said most recently nearby this? Um, yeah, the words you heard most recently were... Um, <laughs> you gotta fix this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. It's literally no, was, your whole conversation outside. you just had. Was it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That was at least twenty feet away. There's got to be some kind of locality to this. Uh... It that that is the locality. <laughs> Would oh, my character have known that and actually asked that question? Well, yeah. you, the other question you already had the answer to. So, is there mm. something else you'd like to ask? Yeah. Actually, I guess not. Uh, well, yeah, I'll ask a little bit of history question. Who made this? Uh, you get the image of a man. He's wearing a lime green doctor's coat. And he's wearing enormous goggles over his head. He's got straight black hair. He looks like, uh, Brandon Ruth. So, if you watch Arrow, he's the, the Iron Man analog from Arrow. Okay. Um, his name is Dr. Phaedrus. 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 Okay. All right. So I have the information that I need. Uh, I go out to um, what's his name again? His name the is guy, Visage. Visage. Yep. Visage is pissing into the wind. He's done. Uh, now. He's done now. As <laughs> is. So I tell Visage, "There's like, look now. It's your responsibility. You've got." You've got to keep pissing into this water. I need you to drink as much as you can and keep pissing. All right? Our yeah. lives depend on it. Uh, uh, it sounds like you probably need to seduce or manipulate him for that one. Uh, he needs to drink the very water he's pissing into <laughs> and then continue pissing and his life depends on it? Yeah. All of our lives depend on it. Yeah. You're just, you're just fucking cranking out those fucking highlighted stats, aren't you? Oh, no. This is a minus one for me. Yeah, but highlighted stats get that experience. Oh no, this isn't highlighted at all. He's just being. Thought you had win. This isn't a weird roll for him. (laughs) This is a hot roll. (laughs) This is a hot roll. This is this is one that's going to go poorly for me eventually. Probably right now. Let's watch it. Oh, succeeds partially. Shit, you're all nice. Uh, okay. Remember how I asked Arthur to not like make every penalty death. This is so that I can be a little assurance more... right now. Uh, he's like, uh, I, I don't know, Sherman. That doesn't sound right to me. I need to drink the water I'm pissing into and then keep pissing out of it. I want to need a little something from you. You're going to have to stand here and do it with me for a couple minutes just to make sure it's okay. Okay. You so, first. <laughs> I, I, uh, I pull out my water bottle. And um, unscrew the top and then put it down into the water, but I hold the thumb over it, um, pretending to fill it up and bring it up and just drink it. Yeah, he's he's literally like, you know, I saw you do that, right? I'm not a fucking, <laughs> I'm a mechanic. Oh, I'm you not a fucking moron. Look, man, I had I had a really gnarly breakfast this morning, and it's just gonna you go. Had breakfast bad. was so, gnarly, man. That guy's I, an asshole. I betcha. Uh, but you know what? I'm looking forward to looking forward to see Adidas play in the rugby games because that shit's gonna be He's awesome. Like, I holy saw shit! Last year. You're an Adidas fan too. Oh yeah, I sure. love that guy and Reebok. Man, what a power play! They are amazing. I got some money we, on this. Freeze frame over to us, like pulling <laughs> fucking shit. Yeah, I feel like boys. this is the time <laughs> to hop back to you guys. What, Liz Gaza, what are you guys doing now? Like, you're pulling the shoes and socks off the body. Gnarly is taking the socks. What do you do? So, uh, how long did we did the princess? So we had to stay out here and protect this fucking gate for in order to get a barter. Um, you've got a couple more days left on your contract. Fuck. But your shit's up. this is so boring. All right, fucking finally. Enjoy your socks, you lazy cunt. Marley's like, fuck you, mate. (laughs) Ah, see you at the bar later. And I (laughs) walk back to the, uh... I'll see your mother at the bar later. My mother's dead, you cunt. I go walk over to the, uh... 
<laughs> hey, Bilby. As you're walking away, he says, "It's just how I like him, mate." He does a hip yeah. thrusting motion. <laughs> you're just as wet as Henrik, you piece of shit. Uh, I think he probably like cocks his rifle when you say that. He's like, "What the fuck did you say?" <laughs> well, let me repeat it. You said that you wanted to fuck my dead mother. <laughs> And I said that you I was were just joshing you, mate. You said I'm like Henrik. <laughs> yeah, no. Henrik also fucks corpses, I'm pretty sure. What the <laughs> fuck, man? Saying I'm like Henrik. <laughs> You're spitting what? on the name of St. Irwin. Well, yeah. You know what? Fucking Stingray be blessed, but, you know... Yeah, he, like, he, he kisses <laughs> the crocodile teeth he has around his neck. <laughs> but... But you know what? You got you got to control yourself, man. If your urges to like fuck dead people is getting out of control, you're gonna turn into one of those brain melding fuckers. He turns to Liz and is like, "You hear this, this motherfucker? You're the motherfucker. You're the mother. Well, I, I <laughs> fuck your mother, but you're the mother." Please tell me someone's gonna say "dead motherfucker" and then just shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> Thor, is that your life? That would be so amazing. Oh, all right. <laughs> that would be great. Only. <laughs> That might be problematic. But it's just, it's such a good line. Damn, no, no, okay. <laughs> it would be so great. Australians <laughs> will always josh each other like this. That is pretty much it. Like, if you guys, yep. like, I'm not going to shoot a guy for saying this shit. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> I, like, I'm saying, like, I don't know. Maybe it does. I don't I, I could believe Henry could do Fuck pretty much you, anything. Liz. He probably does that. And you, I don't know. Flash flash to like inside the truck, Henrik's like, no, leave the razors on. <laughs> <laughs> Flashback. Flashback. Yes, quickly. put it under my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um put yeah. Wood, put it past him. I think we time skip five seconds in the future when you guys have entered the town proper. Uh, and there's, like, merchants trying to sell you guns, someone wants to sell you gasoline, um, a young boy runs up to Gaza, and is like, Mr. Gaza, Mr. Gaza! Yeah, what do you want? I, I need you, I want to hire you for a job. Oh uh, yeah, what do you got, little man? He's like, I need, I need somebody killed. Oh, well, that's pretty that right, good. pretty righteous, I mean, who is it? He's like... <laughs> Uh, my dad, he's been taken by them racist folk. Ah, uh, yeah. The shop the people, whites. you know? Yeah, oh, yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, they're, uh, you know, great white. It's a bit of a cunt, the cunt parade, you know? Yeah, they're such a fucking cunts. Yeah, This kid's absolutely. like six. <laughs> <laughs> um, he looks like Macaulay Culkin from <laughs> Home Alone 1. Of course he does, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he's just like... Uh, Mr. Gaza, I heard you had a sick fucking crew, mate. Oh, no, we totally do. So yeah, yeah, if you could get Henry. your whole crew together, my dad could pay you four butter if you save him. Oh, you know what? I might take you up on that, you little tyke. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if, if his junk gets chopped off, it's only two butter, but at least he'll be back, right? Yeah, and maybe, you know, if we retrieve his junk, it might be actually worth more than just the two butter he lost. He's... I don't know. The kids how, like, how much what? does cock sell for these days? <laughs> uh, so when you say know, that... How, how big is it? There's a guy how selling cock, dad's like, cock down the way. First off, like, I need to name this kid. Six, six farter for a, a six-inch cock. This kid's <laughs> name's Son. Son, yeah. All right. Okay. And uh, the local flesh merchant, his name is H. And he's like... Oh, you want to know how much cock sells for I know, I imagine, I imagine it's like, it's pretty much like a crowded area, right? I'm like, hey, H, how much are you buying cocks for these days? Uh, <laughs> so, if you've ever played Borderlands, any of them, the guy who sells the guns, the armory guy? Marcus. Have, yeah. Marcus. Yeah, Marcus. It's Marcus. He's like, ah, Gaza, you coming back to my establishment? I got a use for a man that looks like you. Yeah, sometimes the ladies want a piece of shit in their bed. Ah, cock like yours, maybe one barter for a full night, huh? Nah, I mean, one that's not attached to a living being, you piece of shit. He's <laughs> like, what the fuck use would I have for that? I don't know, aphrodisiac, put it in a fucking drink or something. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
dried powdered dick. Yeah, but what else do the Grey Whites use it for? Uh, He's like, the Grey Whites? Yeah. They fucking cut aboriginal cocks off so that none of the people can ever have sex again. They're yeah, trying they... to wipe out the race. Yeah, hey. yeah, well, I know, the old rabbit-proof fence story. No, I got it. <laughs> tell you what, uh, tell you what, Tyke, uh, ah. son... We're gonna we're gonna get the crew together. We're gonna rescue your old man, but we're gonna need a little, we're gonna need a bit of an advance on this, you know. Going up against the great whites isn't exactly uh, shits and giggles, you know what I'm saying? He was like, <laughs> "I've heard about but... you, Gaza. I've heard you get the job done without me having to pay you up front. It sounds like you're trying to just take my money, and I might be six years old, but I ain't nobody's bitch." I get down on one knee and I'm like. You look like someone's bitch, kid. <laughs> so he pulls out his crocodile teeth necklace and is like, Saint Owen, protect me from this fucking pedophile. <laughs> Listen, that's more of a Henrik move. I just I just want to make sure I'm not going to get fucked by a little kid and he's dead when his dick gets cut off by a great white, you know? The kid I, just starts crying. I tell you what, <laughs> he's, before you he's start bawling, bawling out of control, but the bawling is. <laughs> I tell you hey. what, it, you give us the two barter, and if your dad's dick gets cut off in the process, you won't have to pay us anymore. We'll still rescue the bloke. He turns to look at Lizbet, and it's just like, can't you help me? Oh, this little shit it right does. here. Uh, Depends, I suppose. So, so how big are we talking here? What is cock? I don't know. Yeah. Seen... <laughs> that's why I'm asking the kid. Yeah, he starts crying uncontrollably at this point. I'm like, all right, all right, shut your fucking eyeballs, god damn it! Gotta be pretty huge if it's worth two barter, man. I, I tell you what, I tell you what, kid. One barter. The kid is like, <laughs> it's not my dad's cock that's worth two. It's his fucking life. No, I get that. What the that. fuck is wrong with you? You, uh, you, said, you the said Yeah, absolutely. Look, one barter up front. We'll rescue your old man. We'll bring him back in one piece. And then we'll right. deal with the rest of it. Roll, seduce, or manipulate. Uh, what one's manipulate? It's hot. hot. It's still hot. hot. No matter They're what both hot? Yep. Yeah. 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 God, it's so weird when you say it like that, Arthur. <laughs> hot. So You're rolling hot on some the little kids. Some like it hot and some like when the heat is on. Okay. Um, they need concrete assurance right now. So he's like, <clears throat> okay, I'll give you the one bada, but you got to give me some collateral. Yeah, that's what my dad calls it. Just promise you won't bring me when we go to get the money. No, he, he's like, uh, I, I know that Liz has a sweet fucking pistol. I, I tell you it. what. Oh, fuck you, you. you let me hold on to the pistol while you're gone. Oh, fuck you. I need that pistol to shoot the fuckers who got your dad. He's like, I'm you've got sure a fucking... I'm pretty sure that worth more than one barter. Yeah, he's like, he's like looking at your other weapon. He's like, you, you've got a fucking AK-197. What do you need this fucking deagle for? I'm gonna go shoot some womp rats out back with it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're fucking lose it. That's why I'm not giving it I'm to you. I'm not gonna lose a pistol. Dead? It's worth my dad's life to me. <sighs> Liz, oh, Liz shit. Every going. child loves their father. Listen, listen, kid. You know, you're not making it any easier on us to want to do this, so you, you got to think with your business brain rather than your fucking heart. You know what I'm saying? Your old man's going to get rescued because we're the best that there is. And you know that shit. That's why you came to me in the first place. He just, he just start. he's like, if you don't do this, I'm going to Princess. Mate, we already work for Princess, so we got it covered. We'll get your old man back. And you better fucking pay us the full bottom when we get back. Um, yeah, he's, come hella he starts of, running of off. Water. He just starts screaming, Princess, they're being mean to me! Princess! And, like, Fuck. disappears in the crowd. Liz, if we ever have kids, I swear to God, I'm just gonna murder them. I'm gonna drown them. This wow, shit. that's really forward of you. <laughs> <laughs> When we have I love kids. how you skip from the like the courtship straight to the I'm gonna murder the children. I'm gonna murder the children. <laughs> don't worry, I've, I'll I'll have that covered before they're even born. Fantastic. Okay, All right. Uh, so great whites. Let's get the crew together. Let's. Oh, God. 
Uh, let's rescue some old fucking geezer and get us some four barter. What do we got now? We got five. If we get yeah. this old man, that sounds pretty good. I like those odds. <clears throat> Got to do That's... that, and and if he so doesn't the... fucking pay off, then you know some of you should out. already <laughs> have barter. By the way, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do, but I'm not gonna. Anyway, uh, let's go. I'm not gonna your... use that barter to pay for my debts. I'm gonna get new barter to pay for my debts. Oh, I mean, if we can't yeah. get the. New... Out of yeah. curiosity, Arthur, the uh, the ten barter that we owe Princess, is it right? Yep. Um, that is specifically to repair the water tower. If we get the part we need, the then ten we the ten barter is for your guys to stay here. Yeah, like yeah. they've been okay. sheltering so what is, you. From... What are we What are we getting for the the tower? One barter. One barter. We get one barter for the tower. Yeah. If you're repairing the tower, lives. We, one we need to re renegotiate on that. Anyway, um, so let's go back to the bilby. All right, and yeah. Okay. That's All right. So, uh, Sherman, you arrive at the bilby at the same time as Liz and Gaza, and mm, yep. uh, Henrik, you're coming out of the bilby. Uh, what are you like when you're coming out? Well, I'm covered in sweat, but that's just kind of normal for Henrik. He's yeah. a sweater, um, and. Uh, yeah, and he's probably just like um, putting on his his camo jacket uh, as he steps out the back. Um, is uh, Mimi with you by chance? And uh, well, yeah, well, we're, just, we're just no, just Henrik now. Just Henrik stepping out. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I I um I like give the zip up like all the way. I like to zip it up all the way till it like pulls the collar into like a little thing. <laughs> okay, so Mimi steps up behind you and is still like shouldering her overalls on. And she hands you the sledgehammer head and like gets in real close and is like, I didn't know you could do that with a sledgehammer head. You keep it as a memento. And, and I she like, walks wait. off with just a sledgehammer with no head strapped to her chest now. Alright, as she comes out, I'm just like, motherfucker. Yeah, her Mimi. mohawk's all messed up. <laughs> Mimi, you loose bitch. What are you doing here? Why are you fucking Fuck Henry? Fuck you, Gaza. Get your fucking junk at piece of shit out of my garage. I thought you were going to the reef, mate. So yeah, Henry. we are going to go to the reef. Well, you we need to stop smoking that cabbage, then. Oh, fuck you. Get out of my sight. Fuck I don't want to smell your fucking... You're yeah, not half the here. man Henrik is. <laughs> Hen Henrik fucks corpses. <laughs> She's like, well, he does it right. And then she <laughs> oh gets my out God. of the garage. You will, if I see you around Bilby anymore, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot your fucking tits off. I swear to God. She's swear gone. to God, Mimi. <laughs> You fucking loose bitch, get out of here. What are you saying to Henrik? <laughs> I'm like I'm like standing like right next to him and I'm like Yeah, and, and, and then when she solidarity, bro. <laughs> when when she turns around and leaves, I turn to Henrik and I'm like, if I find one drop of cum in the back of Bilby, <laughs> I'm going to rip your fucking nuts like, off. Not a drip, I promise. I'm like uh I lit a match in the back so it doesn't smell so Tell, tell me, Henry, what is rule number one of the fucking Bilby Express? <laughs> uh, I think it was something about uh, gas or grass no, or... No fucking in the Bilby. That is rule number one of the Bilby Express. And you fucking broke it. You know what? You're, you're, riding, you're riding bitch. But I always ride shotgun. Nope, you're riding bitch. Tonight... When we go to the reef, you're a bitch for like half the way. You fucked in the bilby. Now you gotta pay the price. You stupid no, and fucking. I'm like, I'm, oh my god. Out of curiosity, I'm like, does I'm like starting to sweat again. Count as one-sided in intimacy. What was that? Does that forced contact sound uh, count? As it one? does. If Henrik wants to activate any moves, <laughs> you're wearing your violation glove when he touched you. Yeah. <laughs> Is there something you'd like to do here, Henry? Uh, yeah, let me, I, I'm, st I'm still getting oh, that. Oh, my. <laughs> I was more talking about when he has to ride bitch. Because <laughs> yeah. no, that's, that's, you're basically know. crammed right up next I'm to just, uh, I just, like, pull out, like, I always have, like, a uh, like a little, like, handkerchief. And I'm just, like, wiping my, my forehead. And I'm, like, sweating profusely. So I'm slightly embarrassed and, and just a little, like, <clears throat> Look, man, it's like, what did you want me to do? Fuck her in the dirt. She's a loose bitch. You know this. She would get down anywhere. Dirt dick, you know. I don't give a fuck about your dick. Wow. Right? 
<laughs> I probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the stream this is rated R as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to do that. <laughs> it's a good thing I have mature rating on my channel everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh well. So, skipping ahead past <laughs> continually slut shaming Mimi. <laughs> hey, man. Hendrick. Well, yeah. Hendrick, you're just like, stop. You're just a fucker in the jet. <laughs> um, let me ask. <laughs> this trip that you guys have planned, are you planning on taking anybody? Where are your families? Where are your <laughs> friends? Well, we all know that my mother's dead, so... Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you guys are setting out to, like, lead a new life here. Are you, it's, are you it's, taking it's with you? It's literally Gold Rush right yeah. now. Yeah. People brought um, their families with them in <clears throat> Gold Rushes. So I'm well, gonna, Is that I, something you're doing? Or are you literally, it's just the four of you? Liz, so, how, would you, how would you feel about being like old acquaintances at some point you guys have the hex for that uh i have zero with liz how do you get the hex again it like, the only way you can get hex is the initial hex that you guys set up mm. and that's what i was talking about i'm pretty sure liz did something for gaza right yeah have, she I, she told you to get that machine gun, machine gun. yeah yeah so you you are old acquaintances as i shot people with it yeah so yeah, old acquaintances. Um, he, he, the fact that he has zero just means that you know I haven't really told him much about myself, apart from you know nonsensical things. Okay. Nothing really important. But we can still be old acquaintances. Yeah. Like maybe we've done a few jobs together. Then we had like months of no contact, and then like you know Great Barrier Reef started opening up, and we're just like, you want to get on this shit? Fuck like, yeah. yeah. All right. So that, that I mean, I imagine that uh, Gaz is a bit of a, he's a loner. Like, <laughs> he doesn't really have extended family or friends for the most part. The only people that are friends are literally the people that he surrounds himself with. I mean, Sherman is probably the closest he has to an actual friend, uh, even though that, um, <laughs> you know, he doesn't really like the guy. But, you know. No one really likes Sherman. He's a complete <laughs> ass to everyone. And Henrik just uh, came along for the ride for some reason. I don't know why. I think I actually maybe I was friends with Sherman, and that's why you like have me along. I'm pretty sure that Henrik has some kind of blackmail on Sherman. <laughs> like, the, like I kind of feel like the whole relationship is that like Henrik found something out and is using it for leverage against Sherman. Excellent. And you know what? Sherman's just like, hey, you know what? He got me. Well done. All right. I got to respect that. So here's what we got to do, fellas and Sheilas. We got to right. we gotta go uh, fuck up some great whites, you know? It's still, uh, still son's old man. And hey, apparently you also it happens. have... I actually yeah. need something off one of their guys. It well, turns out they completely me. fucked up the water purifier and took some shit. You know what? Some of that shit's pretty nice. I'd like it back. Well, I will decide whether or not I want to install it later, but for now, I want it back. They fuck. Right. They stole something from the fucking water purifier? Yeah, what? is this really creepily white dude that uh, had all these shark teeth around him, and uh, I'm oh, pretty sure surprise. he was... He's Someone from the like... Great White Sharks has great white shark teeth on their neck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't I mean, know why could... they don't paint their backs gray, though. Uh, whatever. Anyway, what? so we need one what of the... They, they stole some shit. We need to go after him. So I'm all about completely murdering his assholes. Now, but, but, one thing but, I but, will but, say... But, but, hang on. He stole something that could kill the town. Why aren't we going to the... Uh, going to there's, get the town's people with us? There's more than one water purifier, purifier Liz. You well, so that. our agreement with the oh, town okay. was to fix the water purifier. The most yeah. direct way to do that is to get the water purifier back. Like we, I'm just, like if I'm we, just if saying, I was hired to round fix up a posse here. Well, no, no. I mean, if I was hired to fix something and I showed up and said, well, it was stolen by some guy, you need to go get that part back. They'll probably tell me, we hired you to fix it, not tell us where the part is, right? Yeah, exactly. But That sounds you know, like something I might say. Yeah, it's, like, a, it's something. It's something I, I could I could think of using as leverage to go into the local tavern and say, "Hey, guys, guess who fucking stole this?" Was to fix it, 
Not yes, we already owe okay. this lady money. Like we we owe her fucking listen, money. Yeah, listen, uh, Liz, Liz, darling, I don't really want to share. Uh, you know the barter we get from saving 